Hi, I'm Mari Cockrell, Communications Director for the City of Abilene, and this is my ABI on City Hall, your place for the latest news and information from the City of Abilene. Now is the time to sign up for Code Red, Abilene's emergency alert system. Coming up on Wednesday, March 31st at 10 a.m., the National Weather Service will conduct a tornado drill for our area, and that's in an effort to prepare for severe weather season. At that time, residents signed up for Code Red will receive a test message at the phone number they give. To sign up for Code Red, go to abilenetx.gov EOC, or you can just text A-B-I-T-A-Y-T-X to 99411 and get the link sent straight to your phone. The Abilene Taylor County Public Health District's COVID-19 vaccination clinics are in full swing at the Abilene Convention Center. The health district has new software that allows you to make your own vaccination appointment. You can find that at abilenetx.gov slash vaccine schedule. It is perfectly fine for someone without a computer or internet access to have someone else help them out and sign them up for a vaccination appointment. And don't forget anyone over the age of 50 is now eligible to get vaccinated and also individuals over 16 with a high risk medical condition. Also healthcare workers and childcare workers are eligible. There's also more information and links to scheduling at abilenetx.gov slash vaccine info. City of Abilene Parks and Recreation gearing up for its summer camps. Registration is now open for 20 camp sessions offered at four locations across the city throughout the summer. It's open to kids ages 6 to 13. Cost is $85 for each two-week session. Also ahead is the Mayor's Hike. That's along Cedar Creek Waterway on March 27th. And the City Easter Egg Hunt also March 27th at Lee Athletic Complex from 5 to 6.30 p.m. There's more information for both of those free events and the summer camp registration at myabilineparksandrec.com. If you are one of the many residents across the city who've had to deal with broken pipes after our deep freeze in February, don't forget the city is able to make a leak adjustment to your water bill. So be sure to save your receipt or proof of that repair and then contact the water utility office. That's at water underscore office at abilenetx.gov by email or call them 325-676-6405. Abilene Zoo is coming off what was a fantastic Wild Days uh, event over spring break out there. Over the course of that week, the zoo had about 22,000 visitors. Coming up in April, the zoo will unveil its new Madagascar edition featuring new animals and exhibits, so be on the lookout for that. Abilene's main library and South Branch Library recently uh, opened back up to the public after offering limited services during the COVID pandemic. So Mockingbird Library is going to be opening up to the public on April 1st. Staff across all three locations busy now preparing for the return of the summer reading program and also return of the Friends of the Abilene Public Library book sale. It's going to be June 17th through the 20th at the Abilene Convention Center. City of Abilene Animal Shelter also busy preparing for what will soon be kitten season. So if you've been thinking about getting a kitten, there will likely soon be plenty to choose from. So uh, you can always take a look at animals that are available for adoption at the Abilene Animal Shelter at abilenetx.gov slash animal services. And that's some of the latest news and events from the City of Abilene. So stay connected and get city news sent straight to your email or phone by visiting abilenetx.gov slash notify me.